name is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. So today will be a quick video giving you an update about these two aloes of mine. So way back in February, I did a video about these two aloes. This is an aloe lizard lips and this one is an aloe oik. So in February, I told you that these two aloes flowered and I cross-pollinated the flowers on them so as you can see they are again in bloom so they've been consistently blooming since february so if you want your aloes guys to flower give them lots of sunshine <laughs> they love the sun sun will make them flower so in february these guys were getting a lot of sunlight in my greenhouse so they flowered in february and then now again that it's summer it is august right now they are getting plenty of sunshine and thus they are blooming again. So in February, I told you that I cross-pollinated the flowers of these two aloes. Just uh, another experiment of mine. <laughs> I just wanted to see how the offsets would look like if I cross-pollinate them. Because as you can see, both of them have very unique markings. So this aloe oik, actually in uh, during cooler months this the edges actually turn into red and look at the raised markings on them i like that so all those raised markings they turn pink or red when it is colder so right now it's warm so they turn mostly green but in the winter and in springtime this is very pretty and so as this one the aloe lizard lips it has such unique markings on its leaves so i came across this idea of cross-pollinating them and uh, finding out how the offsets would look like. So I did a video and I will put a link up on the screen. It's uh, two videos already that I released. The first one was telling you how I did the cross-pollination and showed you that I, form, I was able to form seed pods. And then the second video was when I carelessly, yes, carelessly harvested the seeds from the seed pods so now this is the third update it's already a trilogy <laughs> so the latest update is that i was able to plant the seeds so i waited until warmer months before i planted the seeds or sowed the seeds so i sowed the seeds in june and now in august i would like to show you the seedlings so they germinated this is the seeds that i gathered from this one the aloe lizard lips so i wrote it here it is from the aloe lizard lips so this is two month old seedlings and then this is the other one this one is the one that i the seeds that i gathered from this aloe the aloe oik okay so i wrote it there the source of the seed is the aloe oik so here are they right now so after two months, they actually look like grass growing. <laughs> I don't know when they'll start looking like aloe. So, but I am happy to tell you that the seeds germinated. So I will still keep you posted guys on the development on this. So I, if you're asking how I planted them, I just planted them like I would a cactus seed. So I used the baggy method i kept it in this bag until now i haven't opened them maybe i'll give it three months as well before i slowly open these bags all right so that is it for my update for today and um right there on the back just a quick uh, view of the rest of the aloes that i have in my collection so that's how they look during the summer but in winter maybe I will give you another update on them because aloes are very interesting their colors <clears throat> excuse me their colors change depending on the season or the temperature so like that Christmas Carol aloe that looks prettier during the Christmas season so right now it is mostly green but this one the aloe snowstorm this looks better in summer and spring than in winter because in winter it turns brown and I don't like a brown colored aloe. <laughs> okay, so 
that is it guys for my update for today if you do like it please do give me a thumbs up subscribe if you have not subscribed yet and i will see you in my next video bye guys and cheers